there, I'm Suanna Thomas, principal at Jacobs Well Elementary. Hi, I'm Christy Miller. I'm the principal here at Danforth Junior High, and today we're talking about access control. This year at Jacobs Well Elementary, our door procedures are gonna be a lot the same. We always have our exterior doors locked. Our teachers access the building using their key, key cards. In the mornings, we normally have one door propped open that kids come in. That door will be monitored by an adult standing there instead of it just being propped open, so that's a little bit different. As kids forget things, their lunchbox, their water bottle, their jackets that fill up our lost and found um, out on the playground, they'll be given a badge to key in and out of the door instead of, of course, having someone standing, a child standing there. We really want to get away from any child opening any exterior door for anyone. The procedures at the secondary campuses, including Danforth this year, are that all exterior doors are locked. All the doors between the buildings are also locked. Students at the secondary level will be able to move between buildings by using these photo IDs. These IDs have technology that allows our students to access certain doors during certain times of the day so they can move freely and safely around the building. We know students sometimes lose IDs or might forget them at home. If that's the case, we're going to ask that they tell somebody on campus, can be in the front office first thing, could be the first teacher of the day, that hey, I don't have my ID today. We'll be understanding about that. If they know they've lost it, we're going to send them to the office. It's a $5 replacement fee that we can communicate with the parents about, and we'll get it back to the student as quickly as possible. If they know it's at home and they just forgot to bring it, we'll make sure they get to all of their classes, and then we'll remind them to bring it the next day. Danforth does have gates around the 300 wing and the athletic areas of the building. Our students can use their ID badges to access those gates at certain times. For example, eighth graders sometimes have athletics practice early in the morning. We want to make sure our athletes bring their IDs first thing in the morning with them so they can access those gates and gain entry into locker rooms. ID badges are also used for access to the buses, including during field trips and UIL events. Wristbands this year will be on every student. Um, last year we had bus badges. Well, this year we're going to have our wristbands that are basically our bus badges. Um, it is not for access to the building, but it will keep track of where the kiddos are on the bus route, which bus they are on, how far away from home they are. Eventually they will be used in the cafeteria to sign, to buy their lunches, and even in the library to check out books.